have to stay home from work again. Not an easy thing for everyone, but some of the parents I talked with at least tonight say they do understand the district's decision. When you take a look at some of these icy conditions and talk about those road conditions you mentioned, Lincoln, I did catch up with one family who says they're still dealing with the excitement of a snow day, but now it's also become the cabin fever. For a family with two working parents, oh no, what are we going to do? We immediately started problem solving and three little ones. <laughs> Another snow day. Um, I do open the wine a little bit earlier than I normally would. It came as a little bit of a shock. Facebook has been lighting up with people who have been talking about, here we go again, what are we going to do with our kids? Everybody's got cabin fever, so everybody's going nuts right now. I think you called it a snow hangover. It is a snow hangover. <laughs> it completely is. They're just done okay, and we saw it the exhaustion of another day out of routine i got kind of disappointed mixed with some leftover excitement but then i thought oh maybe the snow will stay yeah, fine. they couldn't sit still any longer so they showed us sledding wait you got it yes Are you ready sledding and fort making so i made it especially for me I made it really Are comfy. It? Yeah. All the necessary preparations for day home from school number two and a half. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if it stays up, we can make it taller. Even if it means mom and dad have to call grandma for help. That is, if their workplaces don't shut down too. I could use some little broader adult interaction. <laughs> They were adorable. From what I've seen on social media so far, there are a lot of parents who are thankful 